Why do cats lay on bags? I don't know if that'll ever make sense to me. You have a couch you could lay on out there, or a bed. But you, but you chose a bag. Hey guys, I wanted to film a quick chit chat get ready with me because uh, I have not filmed a YouTube video where I do makeup in what feels like forever. So I'm going to just do makeup on my face and we're going to talk and it's going to be fun. So yeah. So I've already removed my makeup, but I need to do a little bit more because for one, my eyes always look like this. And no, I do not have constant eyeliner on. I just am really bad at removing eye makeup. For this, I'm using the NYX Eye and Lip Makeup Remover. So I'm using the Revlon Color Stay Foundation Shocking. Uh, I've been using this a lot lately because I, sw I was switching it up and going different foundations and I felt like all of them just weren't working very well and I know this one works well. So I've just been back to my original. T a mother. Hey. Get down. You're all coming in. Are you fucking Can you got can you get out of here? I have been setting my face with a powder lately. I don't want to today. I don't know. It's just too much work. So not gonna do that, but I am going to do concealer, right? Concealer? Kinda going back to basics on this one. That's what I've been doing lately. MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NC15. Alright, now I'm going to throw on my brows. The way I've been doing my brows, because now that I have gray hair, which looks so brown right now, because being able to keep this shit gray looking has been a frickin' task and a half. But what I am using is Makeup Geek Shadows, and I have not used any brow product. I'm using Makeup Geek Corrupt on the outer tail, and then Stealth on the inner portion. And I will show you how I do that as we chat. I'm using my Zoeva Angled Winged Liner Brush, 317 Winged Liner. Just putting a little bit of that black shadow on it, and I kind of start in the middle of the brow, work my way out. Brows are so fast lately, when not having to use a whole bunch of different products and stuff. I just use the black on the outer portion. And then I take the stealth color on the same brush, which is that gray, and I just start filling in the front portion. I've been so obsessed with coffee lately. I'll just chat to you while I'm doing my brows. So obsessed with coffee that the only thing I think about in the mornings, coffee, coffee, more coffee. I don't want anything else in my life. Like, it is, it is, it's gotten bad to the point where I am supposed to drink lots and lots of water because of my kidney stones that I had. Well, all I want is coffee. I'm still drinking water, of course, but each sip of water reminds me that that's just one less sip of coffee that I'm taking. I like my coffee, for anybody that wants to know and or cares, I like it with so black coffee, but I like creamer, of course. I like cream. I like it to be like super creamy, of course, and that's making me super fat because um, creamer is not low anything, but um, I like creamer and I like either the flavored creamers that are hazelnut that make it flavored without having to add sugar or adding just uh, like regular creamer and a few packets of raw sugar. Mm -hmm. I prefer like the flavored creamer, TBH, just the um, the hazelnut one, the Coffee Mate hazelnut. Oh my god. I could throw up and die from the amazingness that is hazelnut frickin' coffee. I like drip coffee too, like I'm not even into like espresso coffee. I just like straight drip coffee. How many times can I say coffee? I feel like that's all I've said. And I live in Washington State, the land of the coffee, but I just, I don't know, I just never really cared so much because I didn't drink a lot of it. I just drink a lot of soda and stuff, and so I don't drink any of that anymore, but now it's just coffee and water, and I want one right now so bad that I was, before I started this video, I was like, do I want to start this video before coffee? I need to go, um, I need to get a coffee maker so that I can just brew it myself at home, because this whole, like having to go get a coffee from the coffee stand thing. This is not going to happen. I'm not going to say coffee again. Now I'm going to work on my eyes. I am going to use my new, new Morphe. 
35O palette. And I have had so many suggestions, no, so many requests of people wanting to see me use this. So I'm going to use it today. And the color I like to start off all of my eye looks with is this one. None of these shadows have names as far as I know. But I'm just going to take it on my Sigma E40 tapered blending brush and pack it all over my lid because this is an awesome light color to put down first if you have as fair of skin tone as I do. If you don't, well then there are some other light colors in here that could definitely work. Because I want to keep it to what you guys are looking for, today I think I'm going to do a the makeup look that I did for the Face Awards, which was just a really um, beautiful smoky eye. First I started off with this color here on the same blending brush and just sort of sweep it through my crease. Since this is a chit chat get ready with me, I thought I should chit chat to you guys about stuff that has nothing to do with makeup and that is animals. <laughs> I work at a vet and I've worked there for coming up on four years and after having worked at said vet for such a long time I feel like I have a fair bit of knowledge about a lot of things and some of those things include flea control um, right, which right now I hear is awful. I don't have fleas personally in my house but I have heard that it is very bad. Um, but flea control is one question I get a lot of questions on and people are like, what do I do? What? I've already tried everything, blah, blah. Strangely enough, I have a lot of information that when it comes to flea control and so I was just like wondering if anybody would give a shit about that kind of video. Like, I know sometimes people that are on beauty channels are like, yeah, I have this kind of video I want to put out. I put on a cluster headache video a long time ago and I just wanted to know, like, is anybody interested in knowing about how to rid their life of fleas? Because I do not have that problem in particular. But there are a lot of people that do, and so I certainly don't have to do that video, but I get a lot of questions and I know how to completely rid yourself of fleas at your home and on your pet, and so I just wonder, like, does anyone care enough to see that? So now I'm taking the cooler toned brown shades, um, like here, mm. that one, and I'm taking it on my Zoeva Luxe Petite Crease Brush and just putting it on the outer V and into the crease. Then really I'm just taking the darker colors and layering a million bajillion times. Like do the same thing a million times. That's what I'm doing. Like over and over again to where the color gets deep and dark and rich. Where you're not looking at it and thinking eh, it's pretty but it needs a little bit more. There will be no more of that here. So just kind of layer what you're doing like over and over and over again until the color is super dark. Then at intervals throughout I just kind of take my blending brush and just sort of go over it to blend out the edges. So we don't want any like blockiness at all. My teeth are so yellow right now. Like what even? It's probably the coffee. It's the coffee, okay? It's the freaking coffee but I don't really feel like whitening my teeth at the moment. I just don't want to do it. I'll take a little bit of the orangier warm shades on the right hand side of the palette and just sort of drag them. I didn't remove any of the old product from the brush so that it kind of melts together color wise but I'm taking like that middle dark orange shade and just running it along my lower lash line to give a little bit of warmth on the bottom. Then there are some shimmery shades in here. This being one of them, you really can't, oh no, it's this one. This being one of them right here. And you can tell it's just a really pretty shimmer. And I take that on my, this finger, ring, pat it on the center of the lids. It gives a cool effect. And then also there are some other pretty colors in here that aren't as light, but like um, this reddish tone shade that you can kind of just take and pop right next to that what blending into the brown. And it just adds a really pretty color. It's, it's kind of hard to tell, but 
I, oh my god, I love this palette so much. It's right up my alley. And FYI, perfect palette for fall. Autumn. Look, could this be any more perfect for autumn? Yes! Now we move on to liner. This is the NYC liquid liner, and I'll show you the way that I've been doing my wings lately. I've been doing them a little more curved. I don't know why. I think I just accidentally did it one day, and I was like, um, yeah. So I've been kind of going up at a curve like that. Then I start halfway through the middle of that. And drag it back. For people who are like, how do you do winged liner like that with one hand and it takes you that fast? And I'll tell you how. Practice, 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 practice. When I first was doing my winged liner, it would take me for freaking ever to get it decent looking. Now, just don't fear the winged liner. That's kind of how I look at it. Like, don't fear it. Don't be so worried about it. Like, you know how to make a curved line on a piece of paper. You can make a curved line on your face. Like, it's that simple. Just don't be afraid of the winged liner. Then I'm going to take the NYX Treasure Lee liner, and I like this. I got it at my Generation Beauty bag. And this, you just line. It's nice because it's like a gel liner, and it rolls up, but it's in pencil form. I really like this a lot. It's super black, too. I'll show you. I just line my upper waterline with it. And run it along my lower waterline. Then I'll throw on some mascara and false lashes. And I want to use my... What lashes do I want to use today? I don't know. These are the House of Lashes Boudoir Lashes. And I wore these in my last video, or one of my last videos that I put up. The one where I had like the skull face makeup on. And I was just giving you guys a quick update. And I had so many comments, people being like, what lashes are those? And it's the House of Lashes Boudoir, which is so cool because House of Lashes is super cheap. No, I am not sponsored in any way. God, I wish I was. They're so cheap. They're inexpensive. They are such good lashes. And these ones particularly have a thicker band, so they're a little hard to make blend. Um, but, I mean, for the price, you can't really go wrong. So, that's what we're going to wear today. This is the finished eye look. This is with the House of Lashes Boudoir Lashes. And man, they are lashy. <laughs> but they are beautiful. And they're very thick, so you can see like semi-band in the front here. But that's just the way that it's gonna be, because I ain't about to care. So I think I'm gonna go with a dark lip today, because my husband is digging dark lips right now. Because I wore the black, the Kat Von D black lipstick that I lost at the Face Awards. Thank you very much. I was jumping up and down when we found out that Mikey won. It was in my bra right here. And I jumped and jumped and jumped. And it must have just pissed off somewhere. And I tried to go find it at a lost and found. And I said, do you guys have um, any lost and found? He goes, yeah, what would you lose? I said, my liquid lipstick. And he was like, you're at a beauty convention. I'm pretty much promise you nobody turned in your liquid lipstick. I was like, fuck. So what I'm going to have to use today is the darkest that I have, and this is the Anastasia Potion. Now, keep in mind, not a big fan of Anastasia liquid lipsticks at all. They're dry and crumbly, but the darker color you get, the less noticeable it is. Like, I have the color Spicy, which is like a really bright red color, and it's fine. Now, just a quick highlight, and that's it. This is the Becca Opal, and I like it. It's a little bit better for darker skin tones, I would say, but it still works for me, even though I'm super fair, if I just don't use too much. And my favorite highlighter lately have gone back to the Balm Mary Luminizer. Love it so much. Just, oh, would you look at that? Would you look at that? Why do cats lay on bags? I don't know if that'll ever make sense to me. You have a couch you could lay on out there, or a bed. But you, but you chose a bag. You can see how brassy my gray is right now. 
I can show you just in a quick way how to get rid of that brassiness. And that is with this stuff right here. This is the Rue Fancyful Temporary Hair Killer Rinse in the color True Steel. And if you do this while your hair is dry, it definitely soaks up more of the color. And I like to put this in a spray bottle instead, but right now I don't have my spray bottle. I accidentally left it in LA. But if you just pour this on your hair and rub it in, what this is is a gray... I don't know how well you can see it on camera, but it's a gray rinse that just allows your hair to be gray and that's that guys uh, this is makeup and hair all done I've just been wearing my hair straight down the middle lately but simple easy to the point I uh, thank you guys so much for watching I know that this was just a short little get ready with me video but I wanted to do kind of something to get back in the swing of things I guess my husband's getting dental surgery this morning getting some wisdom teeth removed which was unexpected but he's been having some pain so turns out that's what we're doing today so thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video bye